<sighs> These people just don't learn. They just don't. I gotta say, this has gotta be the most absolute ignorant, stupid, dumb, slow company ever. And we're talking about Carvana. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today I have another Carvana Chronicle for you. Um, this one in an estate that we haven't really heard a lot about when it comes to Carvana. So a gentleman in Missouri buys a, a Subaru, right? <clears throat> wants to have this good all-wheel drive car. You know, the winters in Missouri and Kansas can be a little crazy. And wanted to have something that was reliable, good. He gets a, an insane price on the car and thinks, oh my God, this has got to be the deal of the century. <clears throat> he does not finance the car. He pays cash. Car is paid for, it completely paid for. There's no financing, there's no nothing. <clears throat> they sent him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten individual paper tags from five different states. That's illegal. Now, Carvana is responding and saying, well, we never break the law, blah, blah, blah. That's breaking the law. Like that right there. You sent this person ten individual paper tags from different states. And like I said, I don't want somebody to get into an accident or for somebody to be hurt, but I think that's what it's gonna be that ends up hurting Carvana is they're gonna get into it. Someone's gonna have one of these cars or one of these paper tags from Arizona or um, you pick the state, okay? And they're gonna hit somebody, boom. <clears throat> and that's gonna be the end of it. Like it's that's legit gonna be the end all the be all end all it's a wrap for them because a lawyer is going to take them to task the reason why I'm, I'm talking about this today is um carvana had no answer for this gentleman for almost a full year to the point where you know multiple attorneys and i'm going to show you guys the the news story because look hey it's another news story and another state and another investigative reporter is getting involved and before we leave today on today's video, I have an announcement for you on what I'm going to be personally doing with Carvana to shine a big mother effing light on them. And then I'm going to also film going to the state and the person that actually regulates them where I am right now and um, ask them if they're going to enforce the law. Because as a car dealer, I would hope that the state would do that stay tuned for that but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the news report right here and um <clears throat> it's just it's just unbelievable derek munhank thought he'd hit the jackpot <laughs> after a few clicks online he bought it for thirteen thousand dollars from carvana which delivered it to his door it's a you know, nice car. I've been you know, wanting one since I was about in high school. That's one of the reasons he's so upset. He paid in full for this Subaru 11 months ago, but he still doesn't own it because Carvana has never given him the title. Under Missouri law, that's illegal. Instead of a title, Carvana keeps giving him new temp tags from states he doesn't live in, like Arizona and Indiana. Missouri says that's also illegal. So where's the title? <laughs> just dance around the subject and never give me a legit answer and they always give me false or misleading information on documents that I could use instead of the title. Carvana had the nerve to tell Derek to take the title application to the DMV and try to register the car with that instead of the actual title. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I told the lady I bought a car from Carvana and she chuckled at me. 
That's because Derek's not alone. Fox 4 problem solvers discovered hundreds of customers across the country are having the exact same problem, and states are cracking down. North Carolina's Attorney General temporarily suspended Carvana from selling cars in Durham after failing to deliver a title. Carvana is also on probation in Michigan, and Florida has threatened to pull the company's license if it doesn't clean up its act. Fox 4 Problem Solvers was determined to get Derek his title. Wow. First, we paid a visit to Carvana's multi-story car vending machine off Southwest Boulevard. But the doors are locked. Oh, you have go to figure. call and leave a message to talk to anyone. Under Missouri law, titles are supposed to be handed over the day of the sale. But Audrey told us that Carvana operates under a special rule called 5830 which gives it more time. Well, we read 5830. It gives Carvana exactly a month to hand over the title or give Derek his money back. And remember, Derek's been waiting 11 months. Where is law enforcement? Wow. This, Missouri AG, Kansas AG, get rolling on this. This is your job. People buy cars and can't get titles. Kansas City Attorney Bernard Brown says what happened to Derek is inexcusable and needs to be investigated. He says without a title, Derek could be arrested for even driving this car. That, that, that's, it's uh, very much against the law to operate that car. Bernard Brown isn't the only consumer lawyer paying attention. In Pennsylvania, attorney Robert Coco is suing Carvana in both Pennsylvania and Arkansas. He's heard from dozens of angry customers. I would say at this point probably 40 or more people. All with similar experiences. Indicates that it is a problem that's, <laughs> that is out of control. In a court filing, Carvana denies that it has repeatedly violated state law and defrauded customers. Sure you did. As far as Derek's predicament, Carvana didn't answer any of our questions about why it sold him a car without a title. Instead, we received this two-sentence response. Thank you for your patience. We are committed to ensuring the customer's needs are met and the issue has been resolved. Best, Veronica Cardenas, Senior Specialist, Public Relations. That day, Derek received this in the mail. There it is. <laughs> so, as you can see, at least for this gentleman, Derek, he did finally get his title, but it's crazy until the media gets involved and there's stories and shit on stuff that, like, just do your job, Carvana. If you don't have the title to a vehicle, don't sell it. Now, this is where it sucks for them, but let me tell you what I've done. I feel like they're defrauding their investors at this point because, like, it's a shell game what they have going on right now with money. And the SEC loves to expose that kind of stuff. So I reached out. I, I you know, basically laid out what I think is going on at Carvana with these vehicles and money and, and whatnot. And <clears throat> Carvana, and I also reached out to the IRS because... You know, Carvana is probably not paying taxes on vehicles that they don't own. So they're getting profit from a vehicle for over a year and not paying the IRS taxes on it. Huh. That could be a massive problem. So <clears throat> between the SEC and the IRS, probably the SEC before the IRS, is will probably take an action on it. Because I really, I personally, look, from the bottom of my heart... I really feel bad for those investors in Carvana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. Um, but in all seriousness, we're going to be doing a couple different things coming up this week where, um, and I'm not going to say where I'm going to do it. It's not obviously here because they know I'm here. But I've, I found a location where they ha we're having massive issues with these plate issues and it's going to be funny, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to get all geared up. We're going to, we're going to face paint the whole nine. <laughs> and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get photographic evidence and video evidence. And then we're going to track these cars from the Carvana dealership if they're delivering them. Because what, what I've seen, what some Carvana dealerships are doing is they're already hip. You know, when the owner or the founder of your company is a criminal, <clears throat> I get it. So... They're not putting the plates on the cars before they leave. They're putting the plates on the car, the paper plate on the car 
when they get it to the house now because other reporters have gone there to try to film the cars leaving with out of state plate with out of state plates so um I'm going to do that. I'm going to get photographic evidence like of stuff that they're doing. I'm going to try to catch them, you know, like when they're bringing vehicles in, if they're actually doing these 150 point inspections and I'm going to get on some, you know, <clears throat> like hidden camera investigative reporting type shit. And, and let me tell you how I'm able to do this. I've already got three employees who are fed up at a specific Carvana that have agreed to wear body cameras and other things that are hidden and they look like regular daily items i'm not going to talk about what they are and they're going to film the whole process the way people talk in the shop at carvana how they talk about customers what they what the mechanics are saying about cars yeah you want to talk about blowing something wide open yeah yeah because i have a feeling that when i drop that video and we look at all the different laws that carvana is breaking if this state attorney general in the state that we're about to do this does not take action, yeah, I think you're going to get voted out in November. With that said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I probably think that every media organization that has done something with Carvana, I'm going to give them full access and use to use my video in their story. And um, hashtag roasting. Where it's time, to, it's time to roast, man. I got Look, here's the thing, man. Uh, and I've actually reached out and I've actually talked to three different customer experience exec, whatever the hell their, their whatever title is. And <clears throat> they said that they're, you know, they're catching up and this is no longer an issue. That was a month and a half ago. We keep seeing these stories. So uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have fun with it. Um, you guys are going to laugh like you're going to be like this dude this dude is not out here in some camo with face paint on <laughs> looking like he just came out of an episode of jack reacher yes yeah yeah we're, we're, i gotta do it man it's, it's funny it is funny but what's funny is like i'm gonna get all done up you know what i'm saying and i'm probably gonna be right there <laughs> on the property and they're not ever gonna see me man i'm just gonna sit there you know with a camera instead of what i would normally sit there with just take pictures and video and then we'll use those employees that are inside the building to catch all of the damning shit the stuff i'm going to be doing is just for fun and to be funny so i think you guys are going to enjoy that anyway <clears throat> that's coming soon actually at the time of me recording this video i leave tomorrow to go do that so yay anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you guys very much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.